everybody, but Monica's hair is twice as big as it was when we landed. Okay, when I go places with high humidity, it gets a little extra body, okay? That's why our honeymoon photos look like me and Diana Ross. Phoebe? Yeah? I need to talk to you. Are you leaving the Supremes? think that marrying someone else is the right answer? Sure. Look, okay, bottom line, I love Mike. David! I, David! I love David. Don't look at me that way, Roseanne, Rosanna, Dana. Who is this? This is Monica. I'm Phoebe's friend. Listen, Phoebe is back with David, and he's going to propose to her, and she's going to say yes, but I know she really wants to be with you. He's... he's gonna propose? I'm, I'm sorry, did you say something? I, I, I can't hear through all this damned hair! Look, if Phoebe wants to marry David, she should. I'm not gonna stand in the way of that. Neither should you. You don't tell me what to do. I tell you what to do. <laughs> Just call her. She's at the Paradise Hotel in Barbados. And while I've got you, you've got curly hair. What do you do in the humidity? <laughs> Damn it! I can't believe she's going to say yes to David. She's clearly in love with Mike. You know, it's very hard to take you seriously when you look like that. Oh, hey, Mike. Hi, hey, David. Chandler. Monica, oh. It's the humidity! You really find this attractive on him? Oh, yeah. Are you telling me you're not even a, a little turned on by Monica right now? I think this is the first time in our marriage that I felt like the more attractive one. All right, come on, Mike. You can beat her. Knock that dog off her head. Oh, damn it. I sleep with him. Game point. Don't get too cocky. Remember, I won the last one. Oh, by the way, how did that feel, losing to a girl? You know, you should really look in the mirror before you call yourself that. <laughs> okay, look. Enough is enough. No, I just have two more points to beat him. Monica, that was also true an hour ago. I mean, please look at you. Your hand is blistered. You can barely stand. Your hair is inexplicable. <laughs> Okay, you've already proven you're just as good as he is. Now, we've missed our dinner reservation, so now let's just go upstairs, order room service, take a shower, and shave your head. Oh, the way you crushed Mike at ping pong was such a turn on. You wanna... You know, I'd, I'd love to, but I'm a little tired. I'll put a pillowcase over my head. You're on. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, my God, I love how thin these walls are. Ross and Charlie, Joey and Rachel, Phoebe and Mike. We're the only people leaving with the same person we came with. That's not true. I came with Monica, and I'm leaving with Weird Al. Okay, I've had it with the hair jokes. Tomorrow morning before we leave, I'm going to the salon. Okay, Buckwheat. <gasps> hey, have you guys seen Monica? Uh, no, actually, I think she went to the salon. Oh, yeah. Oh, she went to the salon, all right. Check it out! What do you think? I think... I think I can see your scalp. <laughs> Don't you just love it? J yeah, yeah, you, you got shellfish in your head. <laughs> it's, uh, it's something. You go, girlfriend. You never said that in your life, have you? Not once. I thought so. Oh, and listen to this. What do you know? It's a treat for the eyes. And the ears. <laughs> Look, does someone mind switching and sitting with Charlie? 
Oh, I, I mean, I, dude, I spent the whole conference with Charlie. Yeah, I understand. No, I'll do it. I wish I could switch with someone. I really don't want to sit with Alan Iverson over there. Uh, I can't wait for everyone at work to see these. Ow! You go back to work tomorrow night, right? Yeah. So if you want people to see them, then by definition, you're not having them taken out, say, at the break of dawn? Well, if I had them taken out, then I wouldn't be able to do this. Ah, ah. You like that, right? What are you singing? It's Valero from Tin. It's Ride of the Valkyries from Apocalypse Now. See, here's the thing. The cornrows are really a solution to your frizzy hair problem. And now that we're home, you don't have that problem anymore. So if you think about it, I hate them. What? You said you liked them. Did I? Let's refresh. I believe what I said was that I could see your scalp. Well, fine, so you don't like them. Everybody else does. Again, let's journey back. As I recall, what Rachel said was she had never noticed the shape of your skull before. And Joey... Well, Joey didn't realize it was anything different. But you know what? I don't care. I like it like this, and, and I'm gonna keep it. You're just jealous because your hair can't do this. Ow! Get yourself in the tooth? And the eye! You've been in there for a long time. Is everything okay? Not really. I have a problem. Really? What happened? Well, I was dancing around and singing No Woman, No Cry. And I got stuck. You can't move at all? Oh, well, I can move. If I untangle you, will you please get rid of the cornrows? I guess so. Some of these look a little frayed. Yeah, I, I tried to gnaw myself free. <laughs> look what I found in the drawer. <laughs> and you said I'd never wear this. Now that I untangled you, how about you do a little something for me? Sure. What do you have in mind? I think you know. Really? I don't, I don't really feel like it. This is what I want to do. <laughs> okay. I just don't get why you like it so much. She's an FBI agent posing as a beauty contestant. <laughs>